Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the concept of LODs or level of detail. So basically what happens is whenever you are inside a game, uh, there are multiple different objects around you, especially in a 3D game, right? And let's assume your character is standing over here and at the far distant, there is a huge building out there. Okay, now you might have noticed sometimes that the building that is far away from you appears very low on detail, but as you go closer and closer and closer, the details start to pop up. And these are sometimes even literally, uh, you know, visible in, uh, to your naked eye that something is happening over there. Some sort of gimmick is happening out there, right? This is not coincidence. This is carefully, properly, manually implemented in video games. Now, this exactly is the concept of level of detail or LODs. There are different, different types of layers of LODs. So there is LOD 0, LOD 1, LOD 2, 3, and so on and so forth, depending on how many level of details a video game requires. Now, you may wonder why does this happen? It is basically to do with optimization techniques, all right? So imagine, for example, you've got a highly detailed character standing in front of you. That character has something known as, uh, you know, a mesh structure or it has multiple different, you know, geometries clubbed together that give it that amount of detail. It also has textures on top of it. But as you move away from that character, you might have observed that the level of detail starts to degrade and at a very distant, that character essentially just becomes a a very undetailed blob so to speak all right this is primarily because games run on the concept of rendering right every time you start a game and you know the 3d world is loaded it refreshes every time right and everything that you see on the screen is redrawn every single frame so what happens is when your object has a complicated structure or a complicated mesh or a complicated shape or a complicated texture at that time your computer actually uses a lot of resources to render that particular object. And if you never had levels of details, your you know, GPU will actually struggle to give you proper and decent performance. And that is the reason why LODs are used. Now, to explain it in a very simple term, uh, how you can understand this, it is literally multiple different variations of a single object that are implemented to achieve these LODs, okay? So let's assume you've got a car. That car will be modeled in LOD 0, which is the highest form of, you know, detailing. Then there will be LOD 1, which will be slightly less detailed. Then there's LOD 2, which is a little bit more, uh, you know, optimized uh, or, you know, the details are still lost out. And anything beyond LOD 3 and so on and so forth, is essentially just very very basic shapes all right so that is essentially what happens is in all the 3d games because in 3d games you are actually dealing with proper uh, you know three-dimensional geometry which is required uh, to uh, make the game look better make the game feel better and whatnot now this is also done because of the limitations of your computer and uh, you know when you're playing video games that process itself is extremely complicated to manage on the hardware level and that's the reason why you see you know these higher level graphic cards that are capable of rendering even more better quality shapes or objects or even lighting for that matter in fact you know rtx is one of the biggest examples of uh, you getting some realistic lighting but lighting is also a different part of the story right we are right now talking about lod's which is level of detail now creation of lod's is actually quite a manual process an artist literally has to sit down and make all these different levels of detail and that is the reason why this model creation process itself takes a very long time think of it from a perspective of a triple a title there are so many different models and each of the model needs to be created three or four or five different times that adds up to the workload that adds up to the timelines of the project and you know think of it from a perspective of just the raw amount of assets that you require to be created for example you've got 10 characters those 10 characters actually have to be made three times which means you are not making 10 characters you are making 30 characters 
and then imagine of about the npcs how many npcs will be available over there let's assume you've got 20 npcs then those 20 npcs also need to be created three times which is lod 0 1 2 then think of all the you know other uh, geometries or other shapes or other 3d models in that uh, game uh, think of it uh, from a perspective say let's there are let's say there are uh, 10 different types of buildings again those 10 different types of buildings need to be uh, created uh, three or four or five different times right so that is just the sheer raw amount of effort that goes into picture which is uh, which has been a great uh, deterrent or a great uh, a challenge for game developers now one very good thing is that uh, modern game engines are equipped to handle lod's superbly for example, Unreal Engine's Nanite actually enables you to do this super efficiently. You do not have to create multiple different LODs. The engine itself optimizes all of that in the form of their U asset. You just have to check mark that build Nanite and it sort of does the trick for you. You can also nowadays rely on AI tools to generate your 3D models. There is a tool called Meshi.ai that you can actually use to make 3D models. And it also offers you different types of LODs that you can create on the fly. Now, I'm not saying that Meshi.ai is in the best shape and form right now for production quality games, uh, but it is a step in the right direction. It will eventually catch up to a level wherein it will be able to create some very, very good high quality 3D models. And if not Meshi.ai, then at least some other alternative out there in the market that will do wonders. So what I would recommend is if you are interested in the world of 3D modeling for video games specifically, I would shortly recommend that you know the fundamentals, you know the foundation aspect of it, but at the same time also start experimenting with AI tools because with the use of AI tools, you will be able to optimize your work framework. And it's not to say that you know AI is going to replace all the artists. In fact, the work has to be done by someone who's going to sit in front of the computer. So think of AI as a friend for yourself for the entire process. And I think you should be able to make some amazing 3D models from it. Uh, and also one more aspect I want to point out over here is that even with the existence of AI tools for 3D models, I think the output has not really caught up uh, with the expected quality. You know, you can generate 3D models using AI, but they still require a little bit of manual touch for you to uh, actually be able to make it a high quality or production ready asset. So anyway, that is just me digressing from the concept of LODs uh, just to talk a little bit about AI. However, that is pretty much about it that I wanted to cover about LODs or level of detail. Uh, I hope you found this video informational. If you did, hit the like button. If you're finding my channel for the first time, my name is Nikhil Malankar. I'm the founder and CEO of Game Your Studios. We're a game development company based in the city of Mumbai. I make games and a lot of content around video games on my YouTube channel. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care.